Here are seven water tests you can do yourself at home with a very simple water test kit. Hi, I'm Jerry from the Clean Water Store, and here are seven general mineral tests we recommend doing at home. Number one, pH. There's a lot of reasons to test pH yourself at home, and the first thing is that if you take a sample of water and send it into a lab, there's a good chance the pH will go up a little bit. It can change because a lot of times low pH or acidic well water is a result of dissolved carbon dioxide in the water. And by taking the sample and letting it sit around by being shipped and sitting around the lab for a few days, you can often get a false, little bit higher result. So even though a lab test is important to use, there's one test that's good to do at home and that's a pH test. And you can get an idea, we recommend the drop test. If you, you can get a pH meter, they're quite expensive and you have to calibrate it. And yeah, it would give you a more accurate result down to the exact pH, but a color changing drops test is the best way for home to see whether how acidic or alkaline your water is. The strips are a little bit less so, they give you more general ranges where the color, you can usually dial in and get a closer idea of what your pH is. Second one is alkalinity. Alkalinity is another one that you can get. With alkalinity, we do recommend the strips because that's the simplest way you can test for alkalinity at home. And that, you're looking for a range anyway, so alkalinity is a good idea. And remember, if you're looking for corrosion, if you're having corrosion problems and you're trying to identify corrosion, you want to be able to test for pH, alkalinity, hardness, and total dissolved solids at a minimum. The third one is hardness. A good hardness test kit is essential to have if you have your own water well. And unless you have naturally occurring soft water, you need a hardness test kit to be able to see how your water softener is working. And also just find out, do you even need a water softener? So for hardness test kit, uh, an inexpensive drops where you're dropping uh, drips of different color reagents into the water in a test tube will give you the most accurate results because you can count the number of drops and you can find out exactly how many grains per gallon you have. Otherwise, if you use the strips, again, you just get a range with hardness. You do want to know exactly how many grains per gallon you have. Number four, iron. Iron is another good one. You should have your own home. If you have rust problems or see iron stains, you should have your own iron test kit. It's an inexpensive way to test your iron and find out how, how much iron you have. And if you need an iron filter, be able to continually test for before and after. So it's another test you can do yourself at home. Manganese. Manganese is a very common stainer. A lot of home tests it, don't include it, but there are test kits out there where you can test for manganese. And iron and manganese often go together, although sometimes you see manganese without iron, but often iron and manganese are seen together, and that causes manganese will cause a black or tea colored stain. So it's a good idea to be able to test your water for manganese. Number six, nitrate. Nitrate. If you're in an area where there's agriculture or there's a possibility where your groundwater has high levels of nitrate, you should have your own nitrate test kit. It's a test you can get done at the lab, it, and it's a good idea to have a lab test, but if you, if you have a nitrate problem and you have your own nitrate filter system, you should also have your own nitrate test kit, which is easy to do at home, and you can test before and after your nitrate system and see how it's working. And last but not least are total dissolved solids. These little meters are very convenient to use and essentially you can check your total dissolved solids, which is your total amount of inorganic salts or minerals that are in the water. And you can, uh, it gives you a, a, a very close approximation of what the total dissolved solids is. And you can monitor it, use it again and again over years and monitor your well water to see is my total dissolved solids changing? Maybe the water is getting saltier or maybe it's getting better. Maybe it gets better during the rainy season or if it rains more, if it changes. So it's good to know. And also if you have high total dissolved solids and you have your own under the sink reverse osmosis system to, to make purified water, you need a TDS meter to be able to see how the RO is doing. You can check it anytime and then after so many years, make, make it easy to change the membrane on your RO system. So those are the top seven. We highly recommend these simple tests to be able to have at home so you can test your water yourself and not have to wait on the lab test.